Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Dummies. Today we are going to be making something super easy mode. I went online and I found these really cute video game controllers. I'll put a link down below if you want to check them out. But I have a lot of friends who love video gaming and their birthdays are coming up. So I thought, let's make some chocolate classic controllers. Let's get started. The things you will need will be some chocolate, you can use dark chocolate, white chocolate. I'm using milk chocolate because it's my favorite, but you can use whatever you like. And then for fillings, I'm choosing caramel, nuts, and some chopped up candy bars. I'm gonna be chopping up Twix, but for the fillings, you can pick whatever you like. If you want to add Rice Krispies, that will kind of taste like a crunch bar, so you can get creative with it. You will also need your video game controller mold, a little baking brush, some plastic baggies, I'm using a pipe bag, but you can use a sandwich bag around the house, little elastic ties to tie them off with, and some toothpicks. Let's put them all together. The first thing that we're gonna do is chop up some of our fillings. We're gonna chop up our peanuts and candy bar of choice. So I'm gonna take all these nuts, put them on a cutting board. I'm just nuts about baking. Then you're gonna take a sharp cutting knife and we're just gonna chop, 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 chop. Then you're gonna open up your candy bar and we're just gonna chop them up again. Finally chop them. Now that we've got two of our fillings chopped up, we are gonna heat up our chocolate and caramel. That's my sugar high idea. After you've heated up your chocolate and it's all melted, we are gonna pour it into this plastic bag for more control. So I'm just using a little spatula and I'm just gonna pour it in here. Ew, 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 ew. Then you're gonna take your little elastic tie and tie the bag together. Now is the fun part. We're gonna fill our molds. The first thing that we're gonna do is put down a layer of chocolate. So you're gonna fill it one third full of chocolate. Also, this is where your little toothpicks come in handy. You can just poke, 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 because there's lots of little designs and crevices, and this will allow the chocolate to move its way in all those little places. You're gonna paint up the sides, and that is so your fillings do not fall out the sides. You wanna completely surround your fillings with chocolate. Now that we're done filling these molds up, we are gonna put them in the freezer for 10 minutes to set, and then we are gonna add our yummy feelings. Feelings? Fillings! These chocolates are three levels. The first level is chocolate, and then filling, which we're doing right now, and then chocolate on the top again. Okay, so let's fill. First I'm gonna add a little peanuts. Try to fill the candy about two thirds full. Then I'm gonna add some Twix. Ooh, what a yummy surprise. These will be so good. Last but not least, we have our melted caramel. I just put in a little plastic bag for more control, and I'm just gonna snip the tip, and again, fill it two thirds full. Now that we've got our candies filled, we are gonna add the third and final layer of chocolate. It's gonna seal up all the yummy treats inside. Seal the delicious deal. Last step, you're gonna put these in the freezer for 10 minutes again to let them set, and then they're ready to serve. Ta-da! Here are our chocolate classic controllers that we made today. I hope you guys liked them. These were so fun and easy to make, and they are the perfect gift to give to somebody because you can customize them. Whatever their favorite little candies are, you can put them inside. I will be posting lots of pictures of these little treats on Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you guys make these, please send me pictures. I love seeing your baking creations. I get a big kick out of them. And if you guys have any other ideas for any of the nutty nummies, please let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to make it happen. All right, thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye.